680 horsepower packaged up into this metal ball that weighs 1,350 kilos. If you get it wrong, that metal ball just crushes in on you <laughs> and you can feel it coming. There's 10,000 parts on the car, or close to 10,000 parts, and all of those bits have to be right. And then you go to the race track and you've got 32 other cars on the track that, that are all out there effectively trying to destroy your weekend. Nothing like uh, travelling beyond any speed that you imagine would be possible in a, in a race car and, and being in control of that race car. The power that you have when you're doing that is something pretty special. It's the only track I live and sleep and breathe. It's the challenge of the circuit itself, coupled with the history, the steep history that the place has. It's like an AFL final and a Melbourne Cup and an NRL final, everything all rolled into one. Butterflies in the stomach, anxiousness, just causes a massive amount of, amount of stress. I obsess about it and respect that I can't get enough of it. It's a stop the nation day in Australian sport. It, it just has so much going for it. It gives you goosebumps because you know you're back at home, you know you're back at the big, the holy grail. That's the race that everyone wants to win. And off we go for Australia's greatest race. You're at the bottom of the mountain uh, starting that lap. Well, turn one is obviously critical for your terminal speed up the top of the hill. It's from then on that the, the track is 100% unique. You can't actually see the truck over the top of the hill there and the car leaves the ground a little bit. Escape is in the wall! Approaching turn two at whatever speed is, it's, it's quick. Be a nice smooth exit, use all the curb, brush the wall and with the mirror on the left. That's the start because you go from there and you go almost vertical. Oh, look at that. And the cutting's, you know, got so much history. It's claimed a lot of cars. Oh, Ambrose has had a massive shot. The track is jammed. The track is jammed. There's lots of times there you think, I'm not going to make this. Back to third, back to second, nick the mirror on the way in the mirror on the way out. Just get on the gas so hard while you're coming out in second gear and you just got the thing nailed. The little hump, the right hand kink there and if you're too far to the right, the car's gonna jump up on two wheels too much. You short shift to third, run third, short shift to fourth as you go up through the change under the tree. Fourth gear, dropping down into Reed Park. Sometimes you can get over that crest flat, sometimes you can't. Oh my God, you're gone. Get on, roll, it's over come down into a dip and they call it the great. You aim straight for that. Problem that is, is there's a wall right next to it about a foot away. And that is just unbelievable. I mean, the amount of times over the years that you think, oh, I'm gonna hit this fence on the outside. That's my favorite corner in the country. The flow through there, the loads on the car, the, the, um, the lack of load on the car as you go through the 40 park. And then of course you get the skyline and you go, oh crap. seen a racetrack where it was such a steep descent. As you approach the S's, you take a big chunk of curve on the left, turn right and keep it nice and close back to second gear. It's always on a limiter all the way down the hill, third gear. You know, through the dipper, the famous shots of cars going through there, you know, you never get sick of seeing them. So you, you basically sort of slide the car the whole way down the, down the hill. Back to third, back to second again. Forest elbows, really tricky for all of us drivers. Oh, you get a hold of the throttle flat, fuck gears when the riddle, little shaft light goes on, so you get a chance for about 15 seconds just to relax. It's the one place of the track you don't want it to go wrong. Oh, big, big trouble! The fastest corner in the world for touring cars. So when you turn in there flat out in sixth gear, it's, it's fantastic. 300 kilometres an hour. It's pretty impressive by, by any means. Look at this. That's an off at 300 k's. What a ride. Settle the car, back through the gears, third gear out of the, out of the chase. Oh, oh big problem. A car has rolled. When you get it right and come out of there, you know, you, you know if it's going to be a good lap or not. It's an incredible place. Stephen Richards, Brad Murphy wins. It's an amazing race track.